Hello everyone, you're welcome. In this video, we have a new integrated project about aluminum can recycle. My name is Javier Puente and my co-worker Eduardo Carrillo. We are students of mechatronics in UTJ. We are going to explain our project to give you an idea of how you can to recycle an aluminum can. The objective of the project is to take an aluminum can and put it into the blue compartment and then the piston will compress the can and throw it into the orange compartment. This, with, with the help of the gravity, will throw the can into the red container. This container is into a furnace. With this, we will to make the aluminum cans. With a lever, we can move the red container outside to fill a mold. To explain it better, the function of the compression of aluminum cans, we use two pistons. We only need 80 psi for compress a can. When you put the can into the blue container, it has a sensor that detects the can to start the processes. The sensor gives you 3 seconds to remove your hand by your own security. Once time that the can is inside, the piston A compresses the can in one way, and then the piston retracts. The piston B makes the same process in a different angle, then it retracts and the door opens once time that the can is compressed. The piston A pushes the can inside the orange pipe. It forces the can to go at the red container. Once time the red container has the lever needed, with the help of the lever, the motor moves the container outside and you can control the velocity of the container. For deposit the molten aluminum in a mold slowly or faster. To learn more about the operation of the project, we will explain each process and part of it. The structure is conformed by a lot of pieces that are welded since they are separated to reduce the shipping and facilitate the machining. The blue container has 10 of security factor because it has a force of compression given by an oil pressure. The pistons are actuated by an individual oil pumps that has an electric motor that produces around 100 psi. This container has an infrared sensor to detect the can to start the process of compression. The sensor is a, is a pressure sensor to detect when the can is compressed. The door machining is a rack activated by a 47 RPM motor but it has a transmission of gears that reduces it up to 7 meters per minute. The general structure has a security factor of 4 in case of an accident. The material used is still of the AC from the 1010 to 1045, depending on the piece and the process. The manufacture of the structure is conformed by the forming of the pieces because it does not need many details and the piece used as rails could be produced by means of extrusion. Welding does not require a specific process but it is taken into account that several pieces have to be welded, so an, ele an electrode process can be used to reduce cuts or a tungsten electrode will to make the weld very clean. In the aluminum casting part, we have a thermal brick clean to heat the furnace. It is necessary to lift the red container and remove the lid to introduce, introduce the necessary amount of coal and lift it manually. It contains an air inlet line that helps to raise the fire and make it flow. 
the temperature needs to melt the aluminium is around of 660 degrees Celsius. The rail container is transported by rails that move it vertically until it reaches an outside point and this be able to pour it when it reaches the end. The mechanism that move it process is a transmission that by means of a chain move the container at a speed of 6 meters per minute. The Jafir gas has a quantity of 10 teeth that goes directly on the shape of the 47 RPMs electric motor, with the capacity to move 30 kilograms, which transmits to the second gear that has 25 teeth, which transmits the power through a twin gear connected to a chain that leads to another gear of the same size with the same number of teeth. This transmission raises the container vertically and to be able to rotate it, we have a transmission equal to that described above. The programming it carries is through an Arduino Nano since it does not need an extensive program. The Arduino will be used to receive signals from the sensors and send them to the actuators. The sensors we use are the ones mentioned above, like the infrared sensor, the pressure sensor and three temperature sensors to average each one and better are used to the furnace temperature. In the actuators we have only five motors with different functions. All working at, at bolts obtained from a 12 volt and 10 amperes power supply. The electrical components that we use are two push buttons, one to start operation and the other as an emergency stop, as well as three of seven segment displays to indicate the temperature. In, a, in addition, the control board has air. GP lighting to indicate the temperature as a visual light, illuminating white when the when the furnace is cold and red if the furnace is hot.